Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we have to talk about a lot of stuff. So make sure that you watch the video till the end. But before we start with our Bitcoin TA, shout out to all the people over on Discord and congratulations for everyone that took this long here. Yesterday we had a buy signal down here, I pointed it out on Discord and right now you should be sitting in profits if you longed here. So if you also want to take advantage of this buy and sell signal, so make sure to subscribe not only here on YouTube, but also to join our Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome. You find the link down below here in the video description and also to be able to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage where you can get the most out of it then make sure to subscribe to Bybit, Femex or Bityard. Those are the exchanges that I very recommend you. You find all the links to those exchanges down below here. For example, here on Bybit, you can use this $90 bonus that you will get to trade with or on Femex $80. So you can also start to trade with that money if you use my sign up link. So definitely go and register to those exchanges if you also want to gain as much as possible with these pumps and dumps in in Bitcoin, Ethereum and other altcoins. So right now we can start here in the one hour time frame because Bitcoin is still in this downwards moving channel which could end up in a potential falling wedge that could break out here to the upside. In that case we should keep an eye here on the next targets which are first here the previous support which is now resistance at $12,000. If we are able to break it then potentially even up here at the next resistance point at $12,700. It is still very likely that we could reach those levels but on the way to those levels of course we're gonna see moves like this when we trade just up and down and if you also want to scalp trade here a bit and take as much profits as possible then also you can trade the lower time frames like here the one hour. And the one hour currently is looking like that we could form here a possible W formation, which is in theory a good sign. The only problem is that my own indicator is getting here a bit exhausted. So there is a high chance that maybe very soon we're gonna see a possible sell signal, which could indicate that we will see this 11,000 100 potentially even lower towards $10,900 level before we're gearing up here for the next leg up but it is also possible that we could have an initial breakout here to the upside from this falling wedge because we are trading right now above the 20 and 50 moving average above the 50 level in the RSI only the 200 is right here at our resistance at around 10,560 so watch out in case that we're getting rejected here we could see a potential leg down again so what I did with my long position right now is that I took some profits out and currently I am in profit because also with the rest of my trade I have a stop loss in profit so everything is good if we are able to push through here to the upside I will be doing more gains but if we're gonna crash down here I can swap it over into a short or my stop loss will just get triggered and I'm out with some profits and uh, the thing is that currently if we switch over to the DXY you can see that here we have exactly the opposite here we could have a possible buy signal very soon because the US dollar index currently is coming down so we are seeing a perfect inverse correlation to Bitcoin and if here we are getting a buy signal then most likely we're gonna have a push to the upside here and the opposite on Bitcoin we're gonna have a little correction towards 11,000 $100. So if you're interested in getting this trade signal then make sure to subscribe here on YouTube and of course also join our free Discord trading chat. And uh, now let's have a look here also into the Bollinger Band in the one hour because currently as you can see we are topping here at the top of the Bollinger Band at 11,480 so it is possible that we could see a potential retracement back down here towards 11,340 even maybe down here towards the bottom of 11,200 that is still in the cards stochastic now shifted to the downside MACD is still looking good but also here if we're getting exhausted here there is a high chance that we could cool off here a bit towards the previous supports down here this is what I'm expecting in the next couple of hours 
if we are getting a sell signal but if we go over into the four hour here you can see that we still have a lot of room left to the upside the buy signal just triggered here so even though we could see maybe in the next couple of hours some pushes to the downside here i still think it is very likely that at the end we're gonna break out here to the upside quite heavy because here in the four hour it looks quite bullish Currently we are fighting the 20 moving average, of course it must have a close above this moving average to be complete bullish and the potential big breakout to the upside then is in the cards, so currently we're still trading below. We have to see the next couple of uh, 4 hour candles where they're gonna close, but overall it is still looking quite bullish here even though we're trading currently below all the moving averages. So let's see if we first coming down here towards 11k again or maybe even lower before we're breaking out here to the upside, but overall here the four hours looking quite bullish and also here you can see this nice w formation which in theory is always a good sign and the target would be approximately here at 12,000 if we are able to break out here to the upside the perfect target would be there where this falling wedge started so up here at around 12,500 but if we are able to come up here i think it is very likely that we are also gonna test here the main resistance of 12,740 so let's see what will come here in the next couple of days it's gonna be very exciting because also today is friday we're gonna close the cmes and also this weekend we're gonna close the monthly candle so this is gonna be very interesting how we're gonna start in September and uh, now we can go over into the four hour because here you can see that finally we are trading here in the upper area so the target is here to reach at least the top at 11,570 also we had a bullish cross in the MACD so that is good and stochastic is also still shifted to the upside so currently the momentum is clearly shifted to the upside if in the one hour we're getting a sell signal and we're coming back down to retest this area then think about maybe to open up longs down here again because the four hour is still looking really bullish and now let's have a look here into the daily time frame because here the bearish thing is that we're still trading below the 20 daily moving average and it's right here at our resistance of 11,520 if today we are able to break through here and also close above the 20 daily I think we're gonna trade for the next couple of days and weeks here in this 12k area again and uh, also the RSI is right at the 50 level so here we should see a big bounce to the upside otherwise we could be leading to a bigger correction to the downside but here we really have to wait and see where we're gonna close in the next couple of days, especially today since it's Friday. And uh, in the Bollinger Band, here we're still trading on the bearish side, so in the lower part. Here we need to close a daily candle at least above 11,570, even better above 11,700. Stochastic is still very oversold, so here a bounce is very likely. The only problem is that the MACD is still shifted to the downside, so the momentum is still bearish. So we should expect at any time a major sell-off, even though here in the lower time frames and even here in the daily, things are starting to look again a bit more bullish than bearish. And if we switch over into the DXY, here you can see that the 20 daily moving average so far gave us resistance and we didn't manage to break through here. So that is a good sign for Bitcoin. The US dollar is getting rejected here at the 20 and currently we're seeing another sell-off. So if this sell-off continues, Bitcoin will rise up in value very fast here. And if we switch over into the CME chart here, also you can see that we perfectly are bouncing here from the 50 level in the RSI and we are now currently also trading above the 20 daily moving average. So here on the CMEs although it looks quite nice and we have to look also what will happen during the weekend if we're gonna have a new future gap or not because remember weekend is always play time so if you're trading during the weekend be very careful because this is usually always the most dangerous days to trade and that's why usually I always try to avoid to trade during the weekends. And uh, now let's have a look also into the weekly because this week is also looking quite bearish. This looks like the beginning of this possible correction down to the 20 weekly moving average at around $10,000. We still don't have here a sell signal. So in theory, we could see a potential correction, but overall we are still bullish here even in the weekly. RSI was overbought, so here also we are waiting for a cool off. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, you can see that we already had a little retracement back down here towards the moving averages. But of course, we are still far away from our 
targets. So on the way down here, there is always a high chance that we could see some bounces to the upside again, also because the MACD still shifted to the upside. And uh, yeah, only the stochastic is now uh, shifted to the downside since we had here a bearish cross. So overall in the weekly, we could expect here some continuation to the downside, even though there are also some bounces always towards our new resistance. But for the big picture, if we zoom out, we are still in an uptrend and everything is good to go to the upside. So if we're coming down to those levels here, take it as a buy opportunity or start to scale in heavy long positions here, because uh, once we're gonna bottom out here somewhere at around 10 to 9K, we will have the beginning of a big parabolic run and for sure you want to take as much gains as possible with you because with leverage trading you can also do a lot of gains only with small amounts or big amounts and low leverage depending what kind of trades you want to do but with leverage trading you can always take on the way up or on the way down as much gains as possible. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Don't forget please moon up the like button, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.